I have a real attachment to Google Drive and Gmail. I just don't know what it is. I love them. Hey Google and YouTube peeps all across the world, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with another tip for the tube. Have you ever wanted to send large files or a bunch of files to your clients, to your friends or your family using email or Gmail and you just didn't know how to get it done? I got you back. I'm going to show you how to send Google Drive attachments using Gmail. So let's jump off into the internet and make it happen. Here we are in the splendiferousness that is Gmail. I don't know if splendiferousness is a real word or not, but it sounded real good. If you don't have a Gmail account, you can go ahead and head over to google.com forward slash Gmail and create an account for free. Let's get into this sending Google attachments with Gmail thing. Two ways to do this. Way number one. When you're in Gmail, go ahead and click on Compose. Choose your email recipient and your subject. And after you do that, there's a little icon down here for Google Drive. So click on that. You have the option to share things that are in your drive so you can see your folders and you can also see your files from here. You can share things that were shared with you. So if I want to send something that was sent to me and send it over to someone else, I can do that. You got recent documents. And then you also have the ability to upload something directly from your own computer into Drive to send from right here. So a lot of different options and flexibility for you to be able to send different attachments, whether they're already in Drive or something that you want to transfer to Drive to send that through your Gmail account because of the fact that the file may be large. Now, as you can see right here, with the upload option, you can send files that are up to 10 gigabytes. You got a video, you got uh, any other type of large file, this will handle most of those as long as it's not over 10 gigabytes. Great, great feature, especially for a YouTuber like myself. A YouTuber like myself. I like how that sounded too. I just, I get down on my own voice sometimes. All right, so I'm going to go back to my drive and I'm going to choose a form. Now, when you choose a form based on what that form is, You'll either have drive link available or drive link and attachment available. So if it's a file that you created using like Google Docs or Sheets or whatever the case may be, one of those Google formats, then you'll just have the drive link available. If it's a file that you created yourself, then you can send it as a drive link or as an attachment. So you can choose between the two. I'm going to choose this newsletter form here. And I'm going to leave it on drive link because that's the only option I have because I created this using a Google Doc. And I'm going to click on insert. Now what I do, you see the link to the actual file is here. And let's say I compose the rest of my message and I click on send. Now. When you attach a Google Drive file to your messages, Gmail actually checks to see if the recipient of that message will have access to the file. If they don't have access to the file, then you get this option. Now, if they would have already had access to the file, like they have a Gmail account and they have Drive or things like that, and I've sent them things in the past, whatever the case may be, as long as they can access the file, then it would have just sent the message. But since the recipient of this does not have access to the file, I have to grant permissions. So there's two options on here. If I click on more options, then I get to see what those two options are. So I can change how the file is shared. I can change it to say, hey, anyone who has this link 
can do certain things. Now, if I leave it on anyone with the link, then the person who receives the email will have the access. But if they give this link to anyone else, they forward the email, they send it to someone else, they're going to have the same accesses that I gave to the recipient of the email. If I only want the recipient or recipients of the email to have access, then I would select this option. Now, keep in mind, if you select um, recipients of the email, then the recipients have to have a Google Drive account to do whatever permissions you're going to give to them. Okay, so I'm going to leave it on anyone with the link. Because I don't care if I send it to this person and they send it to other people and they have the same permission. I don't care. So right now I have it set on can view. So basically, this just means that anyone with the link can view the file. They can't change it. They can't leave a comment. They can't do anything. I can choose can edit. If I choose can edit, then anyone who has the file link will be able to change the file. So... If I want them to be able to change the file, to download the file, uh, things like that, I want to choose can edit. So if I'm sending a video file to a friend of mine or a client that I'm working with, I would probably choose can edit so that they can download the file and keep it on their system or put it on their Google Drive account if they want to. And then I have can comment. So if I'm sharing a work file for people to comment on and talk about, and so we can have a discussion around the... Uh, the information that's in the file, I want to choose can comment. So I'm going to choose can edit. And then I have the option to send without sharing or I can send and share. So I'm going to click on send and share. So now that file is off into La La Land onto wherever it should be. Now, I did say at the beginning there's two ways to do this. So let's talk about the second way. If I choose Compose, go through the same steps. And now let's say I just click on Attach Files. So if I choose to attach a file, And let's say the file is too large. It's going to say, hey, this file is too large. Large files must be shared using Google Drive. So anything larger than 25 megabytes is going to be uploaded to Google Drive. And a download link is going to be included in my email. Okay, I'm cool with that. So I'm going to click on, okay, got it. So now it's going to attach the file and download it to Google Drive. All right, now that the file has been uploaded to Google Drive, we can see that there is now a link in the email. And if we click on send, we get the same options here so that we can go ahead and determine how we want the individual to have access to the file. This is the video file. Let's say I'm sending it to a client. I'm going to select can edit. And then I'm going to click on share and send. And that's it, people. Now you can send Google Drive attachments using Gmail. I want to thank you guys for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, there is a poll somewhere in this video in one of these corners. And I want you to go there and let us know if this video was helpful or not. All right? Make sure you go check out the poll and answer that question. Now, also, hazme un favor, por favor. The thumb, the one that's pointing in the upward direction. If you like the content in this video, make sure you click on the thumb. It lets people know that the content in this video is good. Got any questions, you need any help, you got any tutorial requests, make sure that you leave a comment in the comment section below. And last but not least, if you want chunky, funky YouTube and Google goodness on a regular basis, you got to smash the subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, you get notifications from YouTube every time I upload content, and then you won't be missing out on any other learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.